Hey, what's going on guys? Before the video starts, I want to say thank you so much for all the support. I know I say it a lot, but I really do appreciate it. My growth has been really awesome, thanks to you guys, and I'm able to make more videos for you guys now that I have more free time, and you know, I'm on my way to making this my job, which would be amazing because I could just make tons of content. So now that we got that out of the way, this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you could change the color of a specific thing in an image. So let's say this whole tree, how it's like orangish red, say I want to make that green, but I want to leave everything else the same. So I would change the green to match the background. It's actually so easy to do and a lot of you guys probably don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so once you have your picture, all you got to do is click on that picture, the layer over here on the right side, go up to image, adjustments, and hue and saturation. Now here you might be wondering, what do I do? If I adjust the hue, it's gonna change everything. Well, you actually don't even wanna mess with that first. What you wanna do is you wanna click on the specific color that you want to change. So this orangish reddish color, go ahead and click on that. And now once you click on it, it'll select that color right here. It says the red range. Now, if you adjust the hue, you could change just that specific color. Now it doesn't look very natural. It's like a glowing tree and that's not what we want. So adjust the saturation and lightness adjustment layer and uh, just adjust it tweak it to your liking and it looks more natural but I think that's a pretty insane technique that a lot of people don't know and I think it is really cool because all you got to do is just like two clicks like it's so easy to do and I'm sure there's a lot of opportunities to do this so I'm gonna give you guys another example right now all right for this example we're gonna be using this car and let's just say we want to change the color of the car same process, go up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, go ahead and click on that reddish orange and change it. Now you'll see that it might not change all the colors because there's different shades of orange. You can see it's lighter and darker. So how you combat that is you basically just have to click on that color once you're done with this one. So now we just click on the green, change it to blue like that. Now you can see it turned the background color to something else because this yellow matches the background. So what you would have to do is honestly the easier way to do that would probably be to cut this out with the pen tool. So if you just do like a rough outline around it, like it doesn't have to be anything great just around this part, but try not to touch any of the grassy area because that's where the issue is. So just go ahead and trace around it you just click to add new points and you can hold left click to round out the edge all right almost done okay so now just right click make a selection hit okay now we can just hide this layer it's selected now so if you uh hold Control c or you just press Control c and then Control v you can see it'll make this a separate layer so now what you could do instead if you're getting it mixed up with the background is you could just go up to image adjustments hue and saturation and you can do the same process turn it blue turn it blue and you can see that you might have to do some tweaking if it doesn't look natural but um, basically making it its own layer really does help keep it look looking natural so that's how you would do that but it really depends on the picture because you can see like in the last picture, I didn't have any problems with this one. I did because it's trying to change the background color. So you might have to cut it out into a new layer, which is super easy, but that's all you have to do. So there's two examples. You'll probably run into one of those and that's all I got for you guys today. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.